This is my spooky night, and so I've decided to um, paint the pumpkins. And so first of all, I put on some white. Um, and now what I'm trying to do is get some orange down on there. Probably have to do a couple of coats. Um, I wanted the pumpkins to be down here where the black is. Um, and so first of all, so I have some orange, uh, which is an orange I made up from cadmium red and Naples yellow. Um, and so and I, I figured that what I wanted to do is kind of just go in there, uh, put in the orange first and probably um, do a couple of layers to thicken it up. And, uh, and so this this area over here, there's there's quite a few pumpkins together. So I just blocked it in with the white, and um, and now I'm just kind of I just want to get some orange in there, um, so get get some value down, and then going to. Kind of get this, get these here, and so these over here that I'm painting right now, these are two little pumpkins. The others are bigger ones. And uh, yeah. So to make this decision to where to put the pumpkins, what I did was I took um, the original photo that somebody had posted uh, with the pumpkins and then I took my picture and I put them into Photoshop and I just played around with different placements and stuff and until I kind of decided, okay, I like this. And, um, and then I just like... Okay, so just painting, uh, blocking off, which is how I paint. I block things off first, and then I go in with more value and then slowly build it up um, until I've got it, things the way I like them um, and what makes sense to me. Um, I probably use a little bit of this orange as well around the moon to kind of make it more coherent. So it kind of ties in with the yellow I'm going to put on the pumpkins too. Um, Just simple strokes, doesn't need to be complicated, just kind of gives it a separation.
And if you can see, I'm just doing like really simple lines to kind of give the impression of, of the pumpkin. And, and sometimes that's all you need to do. You don't need, it doesn't need to be really complex. You know, I mean, you can go in and do more detail. Um, but this is because of the way I've painted this with the chain pulls and um, the paws, I, I, did, I decided I wasn't going to do really complicated, detailed stuff over the top. Um, and kind of like, you can kind of see them coming together right now. Um, I'm probably gonna go in, um, I'll probably top up a little bit of more orange in there. Um, and maybe kind of smooth it out a little and maybe put a little dark shadow around the edges to show the bottom of the pumpkins. Um, and just kind of like that. Just little, little marks to accentuate in it just is kind of like uh, like some of the white I think it's a little thick what I just did and so I'll go back in and um, just go over it with a little bit of yellow if I if, if I see that you know it's like it's too too much I just kind of, it's just paint. You can change it any time. Um, and oh, uh, I start off with these kind of flat brushes because they're easier to kind of get in and and then then I'll change to a finer brush if I feel I need to um, so you can kind of see how they're coming together and it just it's the way I like to paint um, and kind of not make it complicated you know so if you wanted to do this yourself, you could. You could just like, you know, it's just simple. It just is, just, just real, real simple shapes. Um, I work as a substitute teacher and I, I sometimes sub in the art room and I always tell the kids and they tell me, I can't draw. I said, you can. Can, can you draw a square? Can you draw a circle? I said, then you can draw. And, and, and that's kind of how I am with, with the painting myself. Um, so, kind of like, I'm gonna put a little touch of orange up here where the moon is, where my spooky moon is. Um, and it, yeah, I know you can't see what I'm doing up here, but I will be posting a, a final picture of this. Um, uh, excuse my squeaky chair. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, I just wanted to, now I've put some yellow in there. I'm going to go back in with the orange. Um, and, and maybe I will do a little bit of shadow at the bottom. Um, but this is kind of just, just, just basic. I mean, you just have to you, that's all you have to do is just just look at what it, the image is and then just kind of you know build it up a little um, until you're happy with with what you're seeing you know and that's the thing it's like it isn't you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing um, it just is just little marks um, and 
just to kind of it gives the impression and, and that's all you really need it's just the impression um, and um, you know you can you can let me know what you think um, and uh, like I said I'll probably be posting this onto one of the the sites I go on to um, just so that you know people can see that it's like you know this is the end result and stuff um, and like I say I'll probably put a little bit of shadow in the bottom and stuff uh, so you you can kind of get to see that too um, and it just so I hope you enjoy this um, and I appreciate it uh, for you watching me and, um, and check back with me okay my name is Leah by the way